The big three automakers are going to be back in Washington today. Unlike their appearance two weeks ago when executives flew in on corporate jets, this time they want Congress to feel their pain. CBS News correspondent Thalia Shuris is on Capitol Hill with more. Thalia, good morning. Good morning, Harry. And this time, Congress will get some details of the automakers' turnaround plans. In GM's case, I'm told a comprehensive plan as big as a book. Now, all three, GM, Ford, and Chrysler, will have their proposals hand-delivered to Capitol Hill this afternoon. The specifics remain under wraps, but CBS News has learned that General Motors will address restructuring, including employee numbers and plant sizes, streamlining its brand lines, and compensation for its executives. Details are exactly what members of Congress are looking for to persuade them to cough up any cash. Some real contours of what uh, they think their companies will look like in four to five years, as well as how they'll use the money in the next four to five months. Democrat Sander Levin of Michigan, home state of the car companies, doesn't use the term bailout. Instead... We're now talking about a $25 billion bridge loan. And when people say to where... I think the answer is to a viable domestic industry, a, a vital part of the American manufacturing base. Ford's survival pitch is expected to include an outline of how it is retooling itself to build fuel-efficient small vehicles, in contrast to its traditional trucks and SUVs. While Chrysler's proposal also includes restructuring details, some analysts expect it may suggest a merger as a long-term option. As public disenchantment with bailouts grows, some analysts are suggesting the automakers should be allowed to sweat it out on their own. The automakers need to deal with their problems and the mechanism in the law for, for uh, legally letting them restructure at a faster rate and, 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 and to, to make uh, hard decisions is the bankruptcy court. The proposals will also be made public this afternoon, and there will be hearings at the end of the week. And Harry, as you said, no one is going to be using a corporate jet to come here this time, and those that is those testifying. In fact, Ford's chief is supposed to be using a hybrid to come here. Harry? All right. It's a long car ride. All right. Thalia Shuris, thank you very much. Joining us now is Verge Monero, the mayor of Lansing, Michigan. Lansing is home to two GM plants that employ some 6,000 workers. Mr. Mayor, good morning. Good morning. Do you have the confidence that the big three automakers, that these chiefs going to Washington here this week, have got their act together sufficiently to get at least something out of Washington this time around? Well, we're certainly very hopeful. I'm an optimist. And, you know, working people see the bailouts for Wall Street, uh, $150 billion to AIG with no strings attached, uh, Citicorp. You know, you talk about mismanagement. We've certainly seen it from Wall Street. Wall Street helped us get in this situation. So uh, we'd like to see some reciprocity. Uh, we don't mind conditions and strings. Look, uh, the auto industry has been in transition, and they will be in transition, and they ought to be. They're cleaner and greener than ever before. Look, GM makes more hybrids than any other company on earth. So uh, they've been in transition. They will be in transition, but these companies are crucial to our economic future. They've right. been an important part of our past, and they'll be an important part of our future. But you They're know worthy what the of, of this say, investment. But the, all these companies are bleeding money, billions and billions and billions of dollars every month. A lot of critics are saying, well, you're just going to throw good money after bad. Why bother? Yeah, I don't think so. You know, the, look at the Chrysler aid package 30 years ago. That was a good investment for taxpayers. It was paid off early and in full. And I believe this will be a prudent investment. You look at the auto industry. It has tentacles throughout this economy and all across the country. These are working men and women. These are people that actually produce something. Unlike Wall Street and Washington, where they mainly produce uh, hot air and hysteria, these are real <laughs> people making real products. And it's worthy of our investment. Again, the tentacles, we're talking about 3 million mm -hmm. jobs. And, and I, I, I saw your comment about the recession. You know, this is a sure prescription to go from recession to depression if you allow this auto industry, our manufacturing prowess, to fall by the wayside. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Mayor, let me ask you this question very quickly. Can you envision your town without those two GM plants in it? Absolutely not. It's unfathomable. It's unthinkable. Failure is not an option. This industry is too important, not just to Lansing, Michigan, uh, but to the whole country. Uh, this is our, our manufacturing base. You know, we were the arsenal of democracy. We've talked a lot about economic security, and that's number one. But what about national security? You know, we were the arsenal of democracy in World War II. It was the auto industry that helped turn us around. Mm. Can you imagine a country, I would ask, can you imagine America uh, losing our manufacturing edge, not having that manufacturing prowess? That hurts our national security. Can we really rely on China, 
Japan and Korea to supply us the tanks, the guns, the jeeps that God forbid we might need in the event of a future war. So there's a lot of things to consider here. The auto industry has been an important part of our past. I think it'll be a vibrant part of our future. These companies have been in transition. Let's give them the support and the mm. tools they need in order to succeed. Other countries do it. We should keep in mind, this is not a level playing field. You know, our companies are competing with countries Quickly. around the world. Mm -hmm. China produced 10 million cars, you know, last year. China is up and coming. And when you compete with a Chinese company, you're competing with the Chinese government. We should support our industry like uh, these other governments support theirs. Mayor Virg Monero, thanks very much. From Lansing, Michigan this morning, we do appreciate it. Thank you.